a holler. Old boy's feeling like a dog on a collar. Keeping that chain pulled tight. Waiting on Saturday night. Put on the smell good, put on Skinner. Head into town like a NASCAR winner. I'm trying to show people what is possible on a snowmobile. <laughs> I don't jump as much anymore, but man, I really have, uh, I'm doing things as far as in the backcountry and the trees and hill climbing that I would never even think of. And, you know, I attribute that to the sled and just wanting to get better. So uh, new this year is uh, the RTR, ready to run sled. This is uh, a venture that Boondocker, Voke and myself teamed up to build. It is uh, an Articat M8 with uh, a Boondocker turbo, Fox shocks, uh, all the best uh, available stuff on the market, and uh, it truly is ready to run, ready to go rip it up in the trees.
it's Colorado, man. It doesn't matter what it's gonna do, it's gonna snow. And we had some of the deepest days uh, I can remember again. It was sick. Pretty good. Yeah. I couldn't breathe <laughs> that whole time. I tried to breathe, I got freaking slammed with snow right in my mouth. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. We're rolling through Aspen here. We actually just went and picked up uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and his posse, and we're gonna go up and uh, gonna go rip some sled today. Throw them on a couple Brant Backcountry Adventure RTR turbos. See what. Uh, see if he gets a kick out of that, but it should be pretty fun. I'm not sure if he's familiar with horsepower or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he'll be able to handle this. <laughs> it's gonna be different though. It's gonna be cool to see. You should see. It's funny how they're all dressed and I mean, they're full, full not ready for what is about to happen. <laughs> Fully not ready. One of the rare times you'll have Dale Earnhardt in your rear view. <laughs> He is in my rear view. I'm checking out, too. 
it's going to be super easy riding. Um, if there's ever a question you never feel comfortable, or, or if you don't feel comfortable, just stop. That's all you got to do is stop. Um, we've got, I brought a bunch of people here today to help make sure that uh, we have a good time. Uptown got its hustlers, Bowery got its bumps. 42nd Street got big Jim Walker, he who's shooting son of a gun. Yeah, he big and dumb as a man can come, but he's stronger than a country house. And when the bad folks all get together at night, you know they all call big Jim Balls just because. They say you don't tug on Superman's cape, you don't speed in the wind. You don't go mask off a old on Ranger and you don't mess around. Yeah, it's awesome just being up here. Ooh. We just getting started, right? This is it. This is just the beginning, man. <laughs> so we just got done trail bashing, and they think this is the coolest thing ever. I put it right up there with chopping wood like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You, it would. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It's just hard. Yeah. yeah. Physical. Yeah. But you know, when you get good at it, it's just like when you're fighting a car, it sucks. But yeah. when everything's right, just like when, when I'm out there, I, I'm not using any effort and it just feels natural. Yeah. And that's what's cool to get to that point. And it's not work. What? My hands got hot. Yeah, yeah what's up with that? Man, my hands are on fire. Fire? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to I can turn them down a little bit. <laughs> I was looking for buttons. This thing here is hot. I thought I had. I thought I was. See, we were riding just a little glove. I thought I was burning them yeah. up. Yeah, we all went hot. You don't speed into the wind. You don't pull the mask on the old Lone Ranger and you don't mess around with Slim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Big Jim got his hat. Find out where his hat is not. What did you think of riding with uh, Chris today? Well, I'd never been on a snowmobile before. I kind of had some expectations and uh, <clears throat> it was fun because he took us up to uh, some areas where, uh, you know, we probably normally wouldn't get to ride if you were going to you know, going with a guide or something. And he told us a lot of the ins and outs that really got everybody excited and nobody was really nervous before we went going. We had a big old group with a lot of people that never rode before us, so it was important that they were all comfortable. And then we got all the way to the top and went out into the fields and tried those turns and stuff like that. And it was pretty exciting. And we got to open them up a little bit. It was really fun. The views were amazing, so we'd Excellent. never been able to see that uh, had we not uh, ridden with him. <laughs> we we put him on the. Uh, he had the best sled. I don't know how that works. I know, huh? <laughs> we we put him on a on a new RTR, a new turbo. That uh, um, it, it was all right. He didn't get to he got to ride mine. Yeah, I, I should have probably given it to him for the whole time. But nah, it was fun just to be able to get on it once and be able to really get after. It. See, that's all I wanted to hear is once, because then now he can say all I needed. All I wanted to do was drive his car once. I mean, yeah. it wasn't that. That's the deal. So he's got to come back to. North Carolina, so I can give him a couple laps in the race car. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be cool. <laughs> <laughs> then he then he can make me look silly, so it'll Shoot. be good. <laughs> we'll see. Good deal. Well, hey, Dale, Dale. awesome man. Thanks I appreciate everything. Yeah, and, you guys uh, are amazing. I appreciate y'all yeah. being uh, so good to us, and, and uh, you took our whole family up there, and it was a great ride for us, and we really we really got everything out of it we wanted and more. You know, we saw some amazing views and. Got to ride all kinds of different types of, types of trails, and I think everybody really had fun. Well, it's just the beginning, man. We'll get you out and yeah. keep having fun. Absolutely. Thank cool. you. Okay, so I've uh, had a lot of cool things happen to me uh, in my life, and uh, one is about to happen here in August. I got a little big air on the way. My, uh, my wife, Sandy, and I are having our first child, and uh, wouldn't you know it, it's going to be a boy. going to be side-hilling right out of the womb. <laughs> Oh, I miss you. Oh, my God. <laughs>
<laughs> what do you guys oh, think of that? Me in the <laughs> that was good. About gravity. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> gravity on a little vacation. Yeah. Did you do that again? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you can't let it beat you, man. <laughs> you did. No, you didn't. And then I you know, riding with the general public every day, um, you, we get to see all kinds. We get to see riders who um, think they know how to ride, and we get to see riders who actually can ride. Um, it all depends on the attitude that they come rolling in with, and uh, it all depends whether I'm going to be nice to them or mean to them. And uh, let's just say we had some stuck guys this year. Trying not to wreck one of the Chris's sleds. And <laughs> hopefully it isn't too bad. Well, I'm not looking for no trouble, but no. How many times have you done this this year? Uh, I think we're in the hundreds. Now when I'm going to fetch my woman people, try I should ask where I come. Well, we have made it approximately 1.7 miles from the parking lot. Give me some, baby. Alabama people, don't you try to dog him round. Now in the kids, Alabama people, don't you try to dog him round. I just kind of watch. I can't really even think of riding with him. <laughs> just follow slowly. <laughs> He's amazing. He is definitely Kills amazing. Him. Yes. Show can't hide. Jesse got stuck. Phil got stuck. Matt got stuck. Brian got stuck. So we're doing good. It's a dream job, and uh, you know the people come here uh, just blown away, and uh, it really means a lot to me and my family for all the hard work we've put into this. Uh, to this gig that uh, it's it's doing really well. This year I uh, I had to acquire some more help um, with Brant's Backcountry Adventure expanding. Um, I brought in one a client from last year. His name is Sam Skinner. He's from uh, Afton, Wyoming, and 19-year-old uh, kid. Not only did he show me a lot of uh, ability in his riding, but uh, his attitude and just his people skills was uh, was an attribute that we needed uh, for Brant's Backcountry Adventure. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm turning him into a pretty good rider. And uh, thank gosh I have someone to come help me get unstuck now. <laughs> so how is it that I pay this kid to freaking ride every day? <laughs> I thought I had it figured out. I guess he does. <laughs>
So what happened there? You got stuck straight up and down like a dude from Minnesota. I had good speed on it. Hold on, let me write that one down. I had good speed, but I'm stuck like an idiot. You know, it's so neat to be involved with uh, with Slednex um, on the outerwear side of things. Um, I've ridden in the harshest conditions you can imagine. I mean, we had a stretch this this year where it was 20 below, and um, you know, my bomber gear. Uh, it's taken us a while, but we have finally gotten something that both Saiyan and I have wore every single day in the gnarly stuff in the trees, and uh, it's been it's gets my thumbs up. Oh. Oh. So the 
the POV point of view camera, um, that's something this year that I really wanted to focus on because, you know, it's so hard to to film the moment um, where you you, you never. It's hard to plan when you're going to do the, the gnarly terrain. And with the the camera, you just turn it on and you just go do what you do. And um, this year there was things that you know you couldn't even get a film or two for one and we were able to capture it with the vial sport and it was uh well you'll see You know, that is the beauty of snowmobiling. 90% of the day, I am completely lost. I have no idea where I'm at, but I have a good idea where I want to go. For me, um, the love I have for snowmobiling, I mean, you know, this year I've ridden so much that um, it, there was even a couple days that I was like, man, this is kind of like a job today. But, you know, you put it all in perspective and, you know, I think about all those moments in a day that happen where, um, you know, 
if that tree wouldn't have been there to knock my ski the one way and, and get me up to the top, um, uh, who knows what would have happened. Those, those, are, those are just those moments I take home with me and that give me the, the motivation to come back and, and do it again the, the very next day and, and to be the best uh, mountain rider out there.
Way to go, Kaya! That wasn't too bad, huh? It scared me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Just like Elitch's, huh?